It's not often I'm the sous chef in my own kitchen, but I'm happy to take a step back today because I am joined by the winner of Junior Master Chef Australia, Georgia. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Are you ready to cook up a storm today? Yes, I am. You're obviously a huge talent in the kitchen, especially to take out the top title. Where did you get your love of cooking from? Well, I've loved cooking since I was really, really little. Um, my mum and dad were like, they weren't scared to let me cook. I always obviously had supervision because if you give a three-year-old a large knife, that's not going to end very well. No. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I've just always loved experimenting. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And I guess it was just, like, that sort of thing that made me love it so much. So talk me through what we're going to be making today. Well, today we are going to make some rainbow quesadillas. Yum. We have lots of different vegetables to make it nice and colourful. We have some red capsicum, carrot, corn, zucchini, red cabbage, cheese and black beans. What I love is that they're so colourful and they're really healthy as well. Capsicum is a fantastic source of vitamin C. We've got a good source of zinc from the black beans and cheese is really high in iodine. Plus, they're all delicious. What can I help you out with? Well, you can start off by frying up the beans and the spices. Yes, chef. Bean filling is looking awesome. Georgia, what are you up to? So, I've just started making the guacamole, which is going to go with our quesadillas. Why is it important for you to eat healthily? Well, I feel like when you eat healthy and you um, pay attention to what you're eating, it makes you feel better. And it also just means you're nicer to yourself and other people. Having energy just means you can have more fun with what you're doing. And it means you do more and pay attention more and learn new things. All the ingredients are ready. It's time to load up our quesadillas. So how do we plate this thing up? So what we're going to do is we're going to get all of our vegetables and we're going to just put them in rainbow order on our tortilla. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one, Georgia. What is your favourite ingredient to cook with? I really love cooking with citrus. Yum. What would you do with the citrus? Well, I like putting it in pastries. Oh. Um, like, I also like putting it in tarts. It's also, you can use citrus for savoury dishes as well. You are making my mouth water. A lemony citrus pastry. Maybe that could be dessert after our quesadilla? Sounds good to me. OK, so I'm in charge of the cheese. How much do we need? I think you need quite a bit. <laughs> OK, I'll be very generous. So we are going to fold the tortilla on top of the cheesy bit. OK. I'm just going to pop that in the toasty maker until the cheese is all melty and it's nice and golden brown. So I press down here. Yep. Scoop it up. This is the messy part. And here we go. Ready, set, go. <laughs> OK, so whilst this is cooking, what advice would you have for other kids who want to get involved in cooking themselves? Well, I think you really have to be patient. I'm not saying I am patient, <laughs> but it helps. Um, you also really just need to try new things. Don't always follow the recipe. Um, you know, have fun with it. OK, so how are we going to know it's ready? Well, I think how cheesy it's looking, it's always a good indication. It looks perfect. Oh, doesn't it ever. Nice job, sister. So in addition to a healthy, balanced diet, just like this delicious quesadilla and regular exercise, and for parents who might be looking to fill nutritional gaps in their kids' diet in the form of supplements, our friends at Swiss have released a new kids' gummies range. They're 99.9% sugar-free, no artificial sweeteners made with only natural colours and flavours. There's nothing to hide. There's a range of flavours to appease even the fussiest of eaters. They're the tastiest way to support your child's general bone and immune health. OK, finish it off with a touch of coriander. Now, I've got a question and I want you to be really honest. What do you think of my skills in the kitchen? Do you reckon I've got what it takes to go to the next level? Look, I think you're pretty good, but your quesadilla flipping skills have a lot to be desired. I would agree. I think I'll leave the quesadilla making up to you. 